Well, the city of Portland has seen a lot of changes over the years, but that said, over the centuries, much has also stayed the same. Yes, it has, and nowhere is that more evident than on the pages of a recently released coffee table book called City by the Sea 2. It is the sequel to John Moon's first City by the Sea, a side-by-side -side photographic comparison of what is and what was. The only difference today is the, the, the type of ships you're likely to see out there. When John Moon looks out over Portland's historic Fort Allen Park, he's not just focused on a picture, but the past as well. I always like taking pictures, photography, and I love history. And Portland, he says, has offered him the absolute best of both. Pick virtually any neighborhood, landmark, or city street corner. Here's the way Woodford used to look. And Moon's juxtaposition of his present day photos alongside historic black and whites document how the city's changed one way or another. Sometimes the changes are subtle, sometimes they're dramatic. You know, like the building's gone and there's a whole new building there. But there are other areas like Congress Square is, is an area that really hasn't changed a lot. Moon himself is quick to admit how much he has learned. A Portland native and graduate of Portland High, until recently he spent most of his adult life living away. These places, I, even though I grew up here, I didn't know about them. So I started researching them. And as I did, uh, I just got deeper and deeper into it and it grew into the book. Armed with an array of images from the past, many dating back to the 1800s, Moon essentially circled the city, shooting today's pictures best he could for perspective from the exact same angle. So you get a sense for the layout of the city and uh, some of the different areas that are important to the history of the city. It's a history, Moon writes, that's not so much changing, rather evolving. And he hopes no matter what's ahead for this city by the sea's future, it's always flipping back to that previous page. Let's take the best things from the past that we have and hold on to them and find new uses for them and mingle them together with the new things that are coming along all the time. And while this is a picture book, Moon hopes that you will also read the captions below each picture. He has found a lot of great historic information. And for a list of places where you can buy this book, just check the Made in Maine section of our website, WMTW.com.